Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading chapter 25 from Action, the story of a butterfly by Serena Now. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chapter 25 Mona was crying. She could not understand why Anchin was asking this of her. Every instinct in her body was fighting against the request that came from her daughter. Please, Mom, Anchin begged. I have to do this. I will come to visit. I promise. She tried to convince Mona. But why? Why do you want to go away? Are you not happy here with us? Is it something I did or met? She asked, still fighting the tears. No, Mom, it not you, nor is it Matt. He is good for you and an amazing dad. Anjan looked at Nia, who was walking closer on wobbly legs. It is just the twins. They need you and Matt more than I do. And Dad, Dad needs me. Please say you understand, Anjan explained, trying to make Mona see reason. Mona looked at Anchin. Her eyes were shiny from the tears, lining her big eyes. She bit down on her lip, then nodded. I can't believe how grown up you have become. You are right. If you want, I will not stand in your way, she agreed. Anchin hugged Mona. Thank you, Mom, Anchin said still hugging her, Mona, who was stroking her hair slowly. Surprise lined the handsome face of Brad when he opened the door only moments after Anchin knocked. It quickly made way for a smile spreading across his face until it reached his eyes. Anchin? Brad said, surprised. Hey, can we talk? Anchin wanted to know. Sure, you want to come in? Brad said and opened the door. I would rather go for a walk, Anchin said. Mom, I'm going for a walk. I will be back shortly. Brad called into the house and closed the door. You lead the way, he suggested. Next to each other, like before, they walked down the street in deep conversation. After a while, Brad and Anchin came walking back the way they left earlier. To find myself, I have to go. I just wanted to clear the air between us first, Anchin explained. I understand, he said and turned to her. Taking her hand in his, he said, I will miss you. Anjan looked at Brad. She gave him a big smile and threw her arms around his neck. Her big eyes were shining with happiness. High up in the apple tree, between the leaves and several intertwined branches, Anjan made a hideout. Since she has moved to her father, she has had no urge to go out or make new friends. She has been quiet and content with her own company and a sketch pad. Sitting in her favorite spot, she was looking at a beautiful view of the flower garden where her dad lives. Sitting there, she had a lot of time to think. She had changed, but she knew more change was coming. She felt it deep inside. You are not high enough, Anchin. You will not be safe here, the voice inside of her urged. Anchin obeyed the call of nature and climbed higher. She sat there, admiring the view in front of her. 
she found a comfortable position and rested her head against the apple tree. She felt sleepy. Not fighting the feeling, she curled up and fell asleep. Faintly, Anton heard her father calling her name, but she was unable to wait to answer the call. There you are, Rainer said when he found her. He looked at the pupae hanging on the apple tree. I will come to look in on you, he said before he flew away. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for chapter 26. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.